Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, I'm going to be working on some organization around our home and working at cleaning, organizing, and restocking the fridge, freezer, and pantry. So I hope you enjoy today's video and stay tuned until after the grocery haul because I'll be sharing how to enter the $100 giveaway I'm doing in today's video. Okay, so we're starting off the video at Costco. I went into Costco to stock up on groceries and I also filmed a little shop with me while I was shopping. And after Costco, we'll go into Trader Joe's to grab a couple of things and then we'll head back home, do a grocery haul before we restock the fridge and the pantry. Okay, so I'm back home and I'm going to do a quick Costco haul and then at the end of the haul I will share the total cost for all of these groceries and we'll also get started with restocking and cleaning the fridge and the pantry. So the first thing I got was three bunches of their organic bananas and these were only $1.99 a bunch so I just usually purchase quite a few bananas because they're a cheap food and we eat these as snacks. We have them in smoothies and I'll probably put some of these in the freezer as well. Next I got a bag of mandarin oranges and these are the boys' favorite snack. They already got into these. Back here, I got a box of organic salad, and then over here, some strawberries and raspberries. These were on sale for $2.99 a box. A two pack of their organic baby carrots. I like to dump these in the crock pot with a roast, and then we'll also have these for snacks. Just a lot of different uses, and they're a good price. Owen wanted to get these yogurts, so we got a box of yogurts for the fridge, and then we don't always get boxes of drinks at Costco, but these were on sale for less than than a dollar a can and so I got these to have on hand in our little mini fridge. These are really good if you're looking for some zero sugar energy drinks. I want to make egg omelets this week so I got a package of the organic mushrooms and then I also got four blocks of cheese, the Colby Jack, the Sharp Cheddar, and then the Monterey Jack because I want to shred basically three of these blocks. We'll leave one block in the fridge for sandwiches and wraps and snacking but I want to just shred my own cheese and see how that goes instead of buying shredded cheese. I've never seen this salad kit at Costco before and it looked delicious so I got this to try it is a two pack Owen wanted to get some more string cheese this is also another one of the boys favorite snacks this was on sale for a really good price and it'll be nice to have in the fridge for easy lunches we can do wraps and sandwiches got a package of dates for snacking I got a bag of pecans for my homemade granola and then two loaves of Dave's killer bread I got a large container of organic cinnamon and I always buy my pink salt at Costco this is a good price to just buy it in the large container and then also the black pepper. I always get our maple syrup at Costco. We use this for coffees. I use it in my homemade granola. We use it in smoothies. I also always purchase our peanut butter at Costco. This is the Chosen Foods Classic Mayo and then this is the Arizona Raw Honey. I use the coconut oil in our homemade granola. I got a large bag of veggie straws for the boys and then these tortilla chips are really good. The multi-grain sea salt, cinnamon raisin bagels, and then I also always Always get my butter at Costco and if you buy butter in bulk you can put half in the freezer if you aren't going to use it all up a large bag of their chocolate chips and then here are all of the frozen items that I got at Costco I always get my green beans at Costco I also got a bag of frozen green peas and then a bag of frozen organic strawberries and I also always like to grab a bag of their dark sweet cherries these are delicious and the last thing I got was a package of their paper towels and the total cost for everything at Costco was $380, which I guess wasn't too bad considering how much food this is. And we do only go to Costco once a month. And I also got just a few items at Trader Joe's. First off, these flowers. Trader Joe's always has the most beautiful flowers. A bar of their dark chocolate for making coffee drinks, some of their salsa, and then this avocado ranch salad kit looked amazing. I'm making green bean casserole this week, so I got two packages of their fried onion, some of their buttermilk ranch dressing, and then three boxes of their organic chicken broth. This was a really good 
price, a bag of their organic white corn tortilla chips, and then just some brown sugar. We did also pick up an Azure order today, so I will give you a quick haul of everything that I ordered. I got 10 pounds of their organic all-purpose flour, and then a bag of cane sugar, five pounds of Epsom salt, and then a little bag of black chia seeds, a little container of vanilla extract, and this is five pounds of jasmine rice. And then I got four five-pound bags of their multicolored popcorn because this is our favorite popcorn. It is so delicious, and we have been out of this popcorn for almost a month now, so I just got four bags. That way we don't run out until the next time I order. The last thing in my order was a 25 pound bag of certified organic regular oats, and I just buy it in the 25 pound bag because I use this for my homemade granola, so I go through a lot of rolled oats, and it just ends up being cheaper to buy it in bulk. Okay, so now it's time to clean the fridge and the freezer and get the food organized in here. We did have some food left in the freezer, and both of our deep freezers are full of meat. There's some food left in the fridge. We've got some factor meals in there, so we weren't completely out of food, but it was time to restock, and now I don't have to go back to the grocery store for a long time. Okay, so like I said, after the grocery haul, I will share how to enter the $100 giveaway. So I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card in today's video to one of you so that you can buy some organization products for your home or maybe some groceries, Christmas gifts, whatever you wanna use the gift card for. This is just a small way that I can give back to you guys. The details of how to enter that giveaway will be typed up here on the screen and then also down below below in the description box. So I'm starting off by cleaning, organizing, and restocking our freezer. And I headed out to our deep freezers to get some meat. That way I can restock the freezer inside the house with some meat. So I grabbed some ground beef and pork and roast, different things like that to have in the freezer for the next couple of weeks. Thankfully, we are able to get our meat from our brother and sister-in-law's ranch. So that's really awesome to know where the meat's coming from, that it's coming from somewhere local. And we recently restocked both of our deep freezers with meat so that is a huge blessing to not have to be looking for meat in the store every time I go shopping. So I do this large grocery restock once a month where I will go to Costco and sometimes Walmart to get a lot of groceries to just fully restock the fridge, freezer, and pantry. That same time of the month, I will do an Azure order, but the Azure order is usually only every other month. And then one or two more times later in the month, I will go to like Fry's or Safeway to get a smaller load of groceries when we need more fresh fruit, veggies, salad, things like that. And I usually always get a fat factor box once a month as well, which is really helpful on those busy weeks. When I do this once a month restock, this is the time that I will clean and reorganize the fridge, freezer, and pantry. And if you're doing that every month, then it doesn't take long to wipe down the fridge shelves and wipe out the drawers because you are maintaining the space each month. So it's a lot easier to keep it clean and organized. Okay, so I'm just continuing to work my way through the drawers, clearing everything out of the drawer, wiping out the drawer, and then going through the food before I organize it back into the fridge. And if these drawers are really dirty, I will just pull them out and take them over to the sink and wash them in the sink. But I've been maintaining the fridge once a month, so they weren't that dirty and just needed to be quickly wiped out and dried.
My husband runs a small chicken farm on our property, so those eggs are from our chickens. And then the milk in the fridge is from my husband's family's dairy farm. So now I am chopping up some bananas because I did have a couple of old bananas that I needed to put in the freezer, and then I just put those new bananas into my fruit basket. I got this fruit basket from Home Goods last year. They always have such a good selection of kitchen items, and if they don't have this basket anymore, I'm sure that they have something similar. I decided to buy the two pound blocks of cheese from Costco and shred them myself instead of actually buying shredded cheese. These two pound blocks are about $6 a piece, so this ends up saving you $2, and we prefer the taste of a freshly shredded block of cheese as opposed to buying pre-shredded cheese, and this really didn't take that long, um, so I'll probably just continue doing this in the future. Stay tuned until later in this video because I'll be restocking the pantry with homemade applesauce. It was my first time making homemade applesauce and it was a fairly easy process, so I'm planning to make even more jars of applesauce later this week. We do currently have quite a lot of apples to use up because we bought several boxes of apples from a local orchard. They were such a good price for organic apples. It was 99 cents a pound, so we've been making a lot of apple desserts. We have apples for snacks every day and now I've been making applesauce. Okay, so the fridge and freezer are restocked. I'll give you a quick overview of what they're looking like. It always is such a good feeling to have the fridge and freezer clean and restocked. Over on this side, we always keep our water bottles and the kids' water bottles on this bottom shelf. And then up here, I have my sourdough starter, peanut butter, some jelly, different things like that. And we keep the peanut butter in the fridge because it says to refrigerate after opening. This shelf is always butter and cream cheese. The next shelf is all of our salad dressings, ketchup, mustard, mayo, things like that. Bottom shelf is sauces and now on to the main part of the fridge we have all of our milk over here on the right side those bags of shredded cheese I might put one in the freezer right here is where I usually put leftovers so the strawberries will probably be eaten in a couple days these will get moved one of these bags will go in the freezer or a drawer so I'll have room for leftovers this container is always my meat container so I will put some meat in here out of the freezer to use for recipes over the next couple of days and it's just really nice to have a container in your fridge that is dedicated to meat and this container is the egg container. Up on the top shelf, we've got some factor meals, sour cream, Greek yogurt, raspberries, and then those little packages of yogurt up there at the top. The next shelf is cheese sticks and oranges. These drawers down here are for fruit and veggies. I did label these with my Cricut just for fun. This fruit drawer is full of apples, and these will last for a really long time in the fridge. This drawer is veggies. I've got cucumbers and avocado salad and carrots. This large shallow drawer is just kind of a lot of random items I've got some salad mixes at lunch meat, some tortillas, mushrooms. So that's an overview of the fridge. I will quickly show you what's in the freezer now. In the freezer, I always keep the meat on the left-hand side and then the veggies on the right. And these are the bananas that I just chopped up. So those are freezing right now. And then I'll probably add these into that bag just so I only have one bag of frozen bananas for smoothies. And that's an overview of the freezer. I'm now going to start working at cleaning and restocking the pantry.
I'm now just working my way through the pantry, quickly wiping off the shelves before I restock them with food, just getting everything a little bit better organized as I go. And if any of the containers need cleaned, I will clean those as well. These clear containers are from Walmart. These little baskets are from Best Choice Products. The larger foldable baskets are also from Walmart. They're only about $4 a piece and are just so perfect for a pantry shelf. Basically all of the pantry organization items in this pantry are from either Amazon Walmart or there is a few Dollar Tree items in here and I found a few containers at places like Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, different places like that. I've been wanting to film some Dollar Tree organization ideas in an upcoming organization video. Let me know down below if you would like to see that. I haven't been in the Dollar Tree in forever but I'd like to go back in there and see what organization items that they have. That used to be a great place to go for organization items on a budget but like I said I haven't been in there in a long time, so I'd love to go back in and see what they have. I'm now quickly mixing up a big bowl of my homemade granola. I show this in just about every restock video because when I do a big restock of the pantry and the fridge, I always make a lot of homemade granola to restock my cereal containers. I prefer making homemade granola over buying store-bought cereal. The whole family loves it. The boys love to just pour milk over it with honey for breakfast in the morning. We have it with yogurt and it's really easy to mix together. I'll be sure and have my recipe typed up down below. I normally add sliced almonds to my granola, but I added pecans this time and I'm not sure why I dumped whole pecans in there. I should have crumbled them up a little bit. If I add more pecans in the future, I'll definitely be crumbling those or just stick to my sliced almonds. The boys prefer it with the sliced almonds over the pecans. So I usually bake the granola for about 20 minutes. It just depends on how much granola you have on the pan. But when it's halfway done cooking, I will stir it and then I will kind of flatten it with my spatula and then let it bake for about 10 or 15 more minutes. And while that granola was baking, I was just quickly going through my spice cabinet. I also have some baking items in here and the popcorn. So I was just quickly resetting that cabinet, cleaning off the shelves, restocking some seasoning bottles and the popcorn containers. I always talk about how even after you organize a space, it's always good to go in at least once a month and kind of reset everything, especially when you're restocking items. That's a good time to just quickly wipe down the shelves, reorganize everything. It only takes a couple of minutes and just helps you to maintain the space.
we recently got this little handheld vacuum and it's been such a handy little vacuum to have. I have it on a charger underneath my coffee bar in one of the cabinets and I'll just pull this out if I need to clean up like coffee that spilled around on top of the coffee bar or for getting back in corners like the corner of the pantry. But mainly I use it for quickly vacuuming out the truck. It has been so nice for that. The battery lasts a long time and we have just really loved this little vacuum. It does come with a couple of attachments as well. It's on Amazon, so I'll be sure and put the link down below. So now I'm juicing quite a few lemons because I was going to make lemon bars for a get together and bonfire we were going to the next day. And this lemon bar recipe is always one of my go-to desserts because everyone always loves it. It always turns out great and the recipe is pretty easy. Okay, so I'm still baking more granola, but I thought I'd go ahead and give you a quick walkthrough of the pantry. So starting off on this top right-hand shelf, we keep more of the breakfast items. And then over here in the corner, I have these little turntables. And I got these off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're really nice to have in the corners of the pantry. I've got some extra kidney beans and black beans over here. The pasta in these three containers, a container of jasmine rice, and then I always keep the extra ketchup and mustard on this turntable. So I've got four turntables one here, one down there, one in this corner, and then one up there. This is where I'll be putting the homemade applesauce later, but over here is where I keep all of my extra items and more of the Costco items. So the coconut oil, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, pink salt, and then just extras of peanut butter and honey, mayo, different things like that. I do have our microwave in the pantry and the toaster. And then down here is the two can racks. These are also from Amazon. Back there is that other turntable. And then I have the sugar, flour, and rolled oats in these three glasses jars and all the extras for these items are down in this container so in this container I've got the extra flour and the extra sugar and I've got the extra oats back in this corner because that's a pretty big bag that's rolled up back there this container is all of the bread items and the rest of the shelf is just storage and then I keep potatoes in this container and then I've got this container with like extra baggies and plastic wrap foil things like that Levi keeps shutting the door on me and he took the bean container. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> On this end of the shelf, I have all of my cookbooks, recipe cards, and then I just keep my watering can right there. These foldable bins are from Walmart, and I really like these because they kind of have that basket look to them, but yet you don't have to have a basket on the shelf. These are nice and soft and easy to pull out of the shelf and get out your items. So in this one, I just have the extra coconut. In here, I'll usually put like extra items for what's up here. And then these two bins are for chips and snacks. This one has tortilla chips. And then this one has just like those veggie straws and some pretzels in there. These containers are from Walmart and I've got the brown sugar, cornmeal, powdered sugar. Well, this isn't powdered sugar anymore. This is actually my shredded coconut. Um, I need to change the name on there because I don't keep enough powdered sugar on hand to have a dedicated container just for powdered sugar so I need to switch that out. Down here is three little baskets for snacks and up in this corner is where I keep paper or plastic products like cups, spoons, plates, napkins. We've got our large box of trash bags and small trash bags and then in this container I keep all of the plastic bags from like Walmart, Safeway. Down here on the floor I've got these two tall baskets in the back and then I keep water bottles here and this basket has all of my reusable grocery bags and my bean container is supposed to be right there but right now it's out here because Levi is playing with it. But this container I bought off of Amazon and it's on wheels, which makes it really nice because I can just pull it out of the closet. But I buy these pinto beans from a local farm in like a 30 or 40 pound bag. And that is everything that's in the pantry. I do also just have some random storage up on the top shelf.
Okay, so it's a few days later and I'm going to make that homemade applesauce. I wasn't really following a specific recipe. I just watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to make homemade applesauce. It's a pretty simple process and all that you have to add to your chopped apples is some lemon juice and water. And if you want to add sugar, you would add sugar, but I made this applesauce without any sugar. These apples are really delicious and have a lot of good flavor. So I just left out the sugar. I did add a little bit of cinnamon with the diced apples as well just to give it a slight cinnamon flavor. I recently got this apple peeler and I've been loving it. It is so much easier to peel and slice apples when you have one of these. I really love the color. It's been working great and this is also from Amazon so I'll be sure and put the link down below. I peeled and sliced a half a box of apples and that made six jars of applesauce. So it does take quite a few apples to make applesauce and it definitely is a process but it is fairly easy. It's just a bit time consuming to chop up all of these apples and blend them and everything like that. So once I had my first pan full of chopped apples, a little bit of cinnamon, water, and lemon juice. I put the lid on that, put it on the stove to start cooking, and then continue chopping up apples to fill up my second pan. Okay, so this is how much applesauce all of those chopped apples made and the applesauce tasted delicious even without the sugar and I'm just going ahead and filling up these six jars with the applesauce and once all these jars are full I wiped off the rims and then put on the lids made sure those were nice and tight and then I'm going to be putting all of these inside a water bath canner and just letting them boil in hot water for about 20 minutes taking them out and then let them rest for 24 hours. I said it made six jars of applesauce and I was wrong. It only made five jars of applesauce, but it's very satisfying to look at these five full jars of applesauce and know that they are homemade. I can them. I'm restocking the pantry with food that I made and I'm inspired to continue making more applesauce later this week. Okay, it's the next day and we are going to add shelving to the boys bedroom. I got this set of three floating shelves on Amazon. I got two of the sets that way we'd have six floating shelves because the boys have this little wall to the right of their closet and for the last couple of months I've been picturing just floor to ceiling floating shelves on this wall because the boys were really needing shelves in their bedroom. Just a place to put all of their little projects and their special Lego creations that they build. Little trucks and different things like that and just everything that they collect and stuff that's stacking up on their dresser it will just be really nice to have some floating shelves that they can switch out what they keep on here and will just help to free up some space in their room on their lego table and also on their dresser
these are some really nice floating shelves. They're sturdy. We liked the brackets that they came with. Jalen did have to add his own drywall anchors just because the ones that the shelves came with weren't quite large enough. The shelves did come with this like measuring tape that you stick to the wall and then it's got the holes where your screws go and that was just really handy to have. Here is how the shelves look now that they're completed. The boys I'm sure will add more items to these shelves and we'll be switching them up constantly. The items on the top two shelves will probably stay the same but then they'll be switching up what they put on the lower shelves. The last thing I'm doing in today's video is just quickly going through my cleaning closet. I just needed to kind of reorganize everything, get this closet reset, and then I also needed to make a list of all of the cleaning supplies that I needed to restock and order. I was out of laundry soap and window cleaner. There was quite a few things that I needed to restock in my cleaning closet. So since I had to go through everything anyway, I just quickly got this reorganized. When I set up this closet, I did peel and stick contact paper on the shelves of this closet. I think I got that paper at the Dollar Tree. And then I just added these clear organizational containers and baskets and I labeled everything to just create a cleaning closet in the laundry room where I can store all of the cleaning products in one place. Before I ended the video, I wanted to show you the skirt that I was wearing. This is from Snoga Athletics, and it's the first time that they've offered a full-length skirt, so I was really excited to try this out, and I've been loving it. It's so comfortable. I'll have the link down below in the description box, and I do also have a coupon code. I do own quite a few Snoga Athletics skirts, and you've seen them in my videos. I do always get questions about them, so I wanted to be sure and link this one. I hope that you enjoyed today's organization video, and I hope that it just gave you a lot of organization, motivation, and inspiration today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!